Hello and welcome to the 19th video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. In this video we're going, I'm going to drop in basically a function where we print the squares that are attacked by the side to move to the screen. So I'll just set about doing that now and I'll talk through it. The reason it's going to go very quickly this is because it's very simple and it's almost a carbon copy of the print board function and it contributes nothing to the engine. I'd recommend you just download the code and paste this in or really just watch the video. But I just want to demonstrate that the square attack function works okay. So simply going from the back rank, incrementing by file as we printed the board, and then we're printing an X or a dash depending on whether the square is attacked by the current side to move or not. And like I said, just download the code and, and paste this in because it has no absolutely no contribution whatsoever to uh, the engine itself. So I'll just save this now and I'm going now to the bring over the browser which I've got here and just quickly refresh and check there are no errors there aren't okay and I had a file actually I'll bring back up where we were I have a file here called perfsuite.epd and this file here is about 120 odd positions which we'll be using later to test our, test our move generator by making every move in the tree and then counting at the bottom of the tree to a given depth all of the positions we visited. So for example the second position here at depth 5 we expect to have around 193 million leaf nodes, what is what they're called, or positions at the leaves of the tree, at the bottom of the, the tree of moves. And you can use this file to veri verify that your move generator is bug free when making and unmaking moves because there are lots of tricky things that can cause obscure bugs. But I just want to use these positions to paste a couple in now into the GUI and just have a look at the result of the squares attacked. So you can see here I've pasted this first position in and it's printed in the console like so. And to be printing the squares attacked for white. And you can see here these this row here is due to the king. We have nothing here and here because the rooks are sitting on, but everything looks generally okay. If I switch that for black and hit it you can see that we get the reverse now and we get the attacks for black and let's actually instead of one of the rooks put in a black queen and let's put in a black bishop and let's also put in a black knight somewhere on the board here so let's do a three and four like this with black to move and set the position and see what we have here so we've got the queen clearly attacking in this direction, the bishop clearly attacking in this direction. The knight isn't clear at all, so I'm just going to take off the bishop and take off the queen and set the position. Okay, and now we can see clearly that the knight is also attacking in the correct directions as well. If I just switch this to white and set the position, of course we're back with the rook and the king, so I'm just going to change the rook down in the bottom corner for a white knight. I'll get rid of the other rook and let's put a white knight at the top as well and set the position. And here you can clearly see the white knight up here attacking and these two squares are from the white knight down in the bottom corner here. So things look okay for our square attacked function and in the next video we can now start moving on to writing the move generator. So thanks very much for watching, comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.